Hello, everybody. Uh, if you can hear me, make some noise. Wow. All right. My name is Jose Olivares. I am one of the curators for Dia Poetry, and it is my joy and pleasure to welcome you to tonight's event. Um, one quick note. We are microphone, but that is for the video cameras. We are not allowed to have amplification. So if you want to just scoot in so you can make sure you hear all the poets, that would be lovely. All the poets will project, I promise. But if you can scoot in, that will make everything flow easier. Tonight, as you see, we are projecting poems on the Brooklyn Bridge Park. Give it up for all the poets here tonight. This is a collaboration with the Worker Writer School. It's our second collaboration with the Worker Writer School. And it is my joy uh, to welcome Mark Nowak to kind of introduce the night and welcome you to tonight's poetry. Please give it up for Mark. Welcome everyone, thanks for coming out. Uh, the Worker Writer School has been here in New York City for about a dozen years. We work with different trade unions and worker centers around the city and meet once a month, uh, mostly online since COVID, uh, to write poems. And the poems you see behind me are a poetic form called the Sinkane, a five line poem. And you'll hear a dozen writers from the school read from their work today. So without further ado, the first writer, Alando McIntyre. All right, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, good? All right, um, I've been with the Worker Writer School since 2014. I'm still, I still consider myself a baby poet. Um, so hope you enjoy um, what we've been working on for the past, past few months. As Eve and Adam dared, so did I, but mine was green with no seeds nor needing to grind teeth. Inside, noisy, but I desire silence like black water held by those fertile red grounds. Clouds, male in gesture, femme by design, drips cold sauce on trees lacking springtime growth of new leaves. Under dark sky, before sunlight, I trek by foot, wheels, foot, all the while Thai snuggles my neck. Outside, guns, choppers, all seeing eye, line snake cross hood blocks, people waiting for bagged food. Labor and no union is green mangoes in bags, red, plastic, held in hands, clenched and moving. In search of some peanut porridge, exchange greetings, I returned home, cups carrying cornmeal. And then last one, boy dreams of freedom like water falling at Dunn's River uncaged and running through St. Anne's. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Olivia Murphy. I am brand new to the Worker Writers School. It's an honor to be here amongst such amazing company and friends. We don't know each other, but we're friends now. This is really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna read a couple of St. Canes for y'all. Um, and I'll begin. Our railroad apartment. Iron fire escape, like heart flowers. Caught snow, held fingers, stickers and toys. Windows to soul. We race snails caught in the park. I pet my stuffed friends, night night at dark. Stories will lull me, and I dream. Urban childhood of joy. Our railroad apartment. Filled with books, records, knickknacks, toys, soft life. Fast walk to faster bus. Passes me sprinting to train. I wait, we trudge, I'm late. It's Monday. In my dreams, I can fly 
over trees or people, duties, well, I fly anyway inside. Heart rise. Waves swell and wreck into earth, just like my heart rises and falls, ever crashing into itself. Hearts are so fragile. We all must rest them in another's hands sometimes, give in and lay in care. Sweeter days come and gone. Warmth leaves with the leaves fall, but life still learns to thrive. And so do we. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Davidson Garrett. I've been in the Pen Worker Writers School for about 10 years. I'm a former New York City yellow taxi driver for off and on 40 years. Here come the Sin Canes. Yeah. Why not tax the wealthy instead of cutting funds for social programs and health care for all? If I had a dollar for all the vicious lies Trump tweeted, I could then afford Whole Foods. <laughs> Beatles rocked the 60s, and we all danced along as soldiers in Vietnam were slaughtered. Congress has become a sick joke that citizens view as partisan do-nothings who fight. Things change as we grow old, and we must accept our failures, trying not to dwell on regrets. A hawk atop a flagpole in Madison Square Park looks to catch scrambling mice in snow. Cheap lunch. A young German shepherd jumps up barking at me, trying to grab my McMuffin with teeth. Looking to cross the street, but the damn city bikes peddling from all directions scare me. What if people made an effort to get along without judging others by skin color? How can one dictator in Russia murder so many civilians and not feel remorse? And my final one, the war in Ukraine calls for nations to defend democracy or we will all suffer. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Gile Wilan Karayanye. I am a street vendor. I have been with Worker Writers Group. I get confused. It seems like forever, but I love the work and I'm excited to be here. Spring, move clocks. You get less sleep. Change is part of seasonality. You get to move variety of outdoor activities. Be happy. Spring, long days, colorful flowers coming up. You can buy assorted color daffodils. Enjoy picking your yellows, white, and oranges. Beautiful. Winter is over. March is green for bulbs. You can forget frost and freezes. 
Be thankful and witness warm nature. Nature walks. News daily. Who is telling the truth? People love media. Can share stories about factual reality. No violence. Vote, vote. Feeling sorry for teachers, parents, and children. They are coming after your books. New political talking points. Woke news. Healthy for you. Enjoy your Fuji Gallo uh, Zach Sweet Crunches. Farmers Market offer more variety. You can find them. Apples, please. Love bread. Select what you like. There is soft sourdough and rye. Just walk to the farmer's market for freshness. Enjoy now. Thank you. Good evening, good evening. good evening. My name is Nelson Chamilio. It's uh, up there it says Esteban Chamilio, but my name is Nelson Chamilio. Um, I've been with the writers, um, Workers Writers Workshop for since 2019. I'm sure, that sounds right. <laughs> uh, here are my poems. So mate experience life cha challenges. Love unbreakable still. We bear witness forever. Flying far and above without any baggage. Emotional intelligence grounded. Plastic, selective rage. Boogie down is burning. Hood uncovered before the change. Melting. Laughing. Little toes tap. Playground, breathing, sounds of exploration for life, playing. Blood in, my family, being chosen, not made, saving these tears for what matters, blood out. Broken, suicide blues, no one is confided with, hard choice, living over the end, mental illness, Secret. Racist. Hey, you, yes, you. Why hate without knowing? Why? When love seems so much clearer to know. Sexist. Identified, baseless, desired cause. Advocate beyond illusion, coward. Pronoun reality, yearning for a safe space, struggling to break free from form, a norm. Elder care, living is hard, unapologetic, unapologetic. It's the Spanish accent, I'm sorry. <laughs> unapologetic, seed sprout grows, then erode in dirt. Fighter, legacy struggling for light, strong to the core, deep down, ground and hardened, released. Real love, one word pu plural, freedom from any doubt, undeniably without you, always. Toxic, ghostly, again, flat, lined, emotion, Bittersweet moments of sadness, bullshit. Red line, the bronze communities destroyed. A convenient throughway, sold, displaced souls, burning. Reaching, depression digs deep without cause, invisible disease takes narrow margin, break through. 
Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Camila Foreman. I'm the director of publications at DIA Art Foundation and the other co-curator of the Poetry and series at DIA. And it's really exciting to be here again with the Worker Writer School. As Jose mentioned, this is our second engagement with them. And part of why it's so exciting is I'm gonna to explain to you why we are here today. So when we partnered up with them again, we of course, in very true DIA fashion, asked, what would you like to do? And they said, we wanna project poems. And so we said, cool, where? And in our discussions about where, we kept coming back to the Brooklyn Bridge, not just because of its obvious public visibility, the ease by which people could come here and meet us in this space, and the ability to attract some pretty random passersby who've been joining us throughout the evening, but also specifically because today, on May Day, International Workers' Day, it would give us a chance to honor the people who built this impressive city edifice that marks the New York skyline and just one selection of the people who helped build the city that we know and love. So very briefly, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a history of the building of the Brooklyn Bridge. And for that, we have to go back to when New York and Brooklyn were two separate cities. And in the early 19th century, they had been in discussions about creating some sort of connecting structure, whether a bridge or a tunnel, but it wasn't until 1867 that the New York State Senate approved the building of state-of-the-art construction at the time, a limestone cement and steel suspension bridge. They brought on a world-famous civil engineer, John Augustus Roebling, who built great structures over the Niagara Falls, the Ohio River, and he came up with the design and the main structure. Construction began in 1870, and from the beginning, it was unbelievably dangerous. There are kind of three main hazards, one of which was decompression sickness, fire, and then some of the obvious things that you think might go wrong when building a bridge in the 1800s. So really quickly, decompression sickness. This tower behind us and the other one that's closer to the Manhattan side is actually based on a structure called a caisson. It's about a block and a half in area, nine and a half feet tall, and about 2,500 workers over the 13 years that this bridge was built worked in those spaces deep underground. This area, by the way, used to be the river. So these are people who are working underwater. And even though they knew at the time that the human body can't withstand that pressure, they didn't exactly have the science right. And so hundreds of people got decompression sickness, some of whom died, some of whom wound up paralyzed. Um, the second main hazard is fire, because this was made long before electricity, so it was all done by candlelight. Can you imagine being underneath the river, working by candlelight? And there's several documented fires in the history of the making of the bridge, but there's one particular massive one that happened in 1871, so just year one of construction, and it was so bad they had to flood the entire structure and in the process, the civil, the civic, the, excuse me, the chief engineer at the time ended up getting decompression sickness so bad to try to help stop that fire that he wound up partially paralyzed. And then the last thing is stuff that you could probably guess. Cables would snap, unsecured parts of the masonry would cause accidents. And over the course of the building of the bridge, that 13 year period, approximately two dozen people died and hundreds of people became ill in the making of the bridge. And the, the three people who were like mainly documented in history for building the bridge, two of them suffered greatly as well. One again was the first chief engineer, John Roebling, who didn't even make it to the construction phase. He actually died during the surveying of the bridge because he contracted tetanus when his foot was smashed between a ferry and a piling. His son, Washington, then took over and then he became ill with decompression sickness. And then Washington's wife, for over 10 years, was actually the person who oversaw the construction of the bridge. Her name was Emily Warren Roebling and her name is the name of the plaza in which we're standing. Um, because we want to get back to poetry, I will leave you with that history, but I like, think this is a great opportunity to think about 
The poems that we hear today, right, are reflections on work and everyday life in 2023. And think about how special it is to gather as a community. Some of you are friends, have known each other for a while. Some of us are strangers, but we're coming together in this moment to honor the, the working people today and the creativity that they bring that brings us together, as well as all of the anonymous, largely immigrant labor working for $2 a day that built this bridge. So let's turn it back over to the poets. Thank you. Hi, I'm Seth Goldman. Uh, it's a pleasure to see you all. And um, I'm going to read a bunch of St. Cain's. Uh, and I'm, I'm so pleased to uh, be here on May Day with my fellow workers. Okay. Uh, ill wind, sad, shoeless soul, motionless on the F train. Before Gabriel blows his horn, hear tears. Jackie, with integrity, rotting apartheid league, began crumbling in baseball, changed minds. Cabbage, Savoy, red, green, robust, luscious kielbasa stew, flavor, Monster rattles his cage, throws his feces towards Kiev. Hot, rancid KGB bullshit, murder. Trump wins when hatred thrives, when our humanity hides, when drag time story hour dies for lies. Pledging my allegiance to Bach, Dylan, and Beatles makes me heart sing. Sounds inspire Sin Cain. 60s got tombstone blues, takes a freight train to cry. Only dead men are truly free from pain. Tumor spread violently. Beast can be defeated. Joy, laughter, cancer's kryptonite, humor. Chili peppers, blistering Mexican aroma undocumented lovemaking with soul. My wife, she smells so fine. Together, drink French wine. Beautiful voice like a cello. Need her. Broadway, winter wind roars. We stroll on Astor Place, arm in arm, body against body, need her. Bessie, Tennessee Blues, she's a good old wagon. Entertain black and white folks till death. Thank you. Hi all, how is everybody doing? How is everybody feeling? Yeah, it's, it's cold, but let's 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 lighten the moment. So in solidarity with May Day and workers' rights and human rights around the globe, we give it up. We give it up. For those who are struggling on the front line of change and those who are striving to make change, we give it up. So um thank you, Mark Nowak, and thank you, dear, the art for um, allowing us the presence of our beautiful work up against the facade of the bridge. That's really wonderful.
and I'm gonna read some some sin canes to you dark room at mercy two weeks wrestle ICU ventilator busy highway outside black womb tomb of faith fear prayer groan her lone son wail pierce dark night two blocks away mama forgive me black womb tomb of faith fear prayer groan her lone son wail pierce dark night two blocks away mama parsley korean store bought cassava corn from peru tobago pepper scotch settlers parsley korean store bought cassava corn from peru tobago pepper scotch settlers mercy no mint milano cookies here needles prick prod stab jab lung covid that i breathe mercy no mint milano cookies here needles prick prod stab jab lung covid i breathe long walks through russell town a still brook broken twigs quiet wind scattered aged corn aged acorns damp days long walks through russell town a still brook broken twigs quiet wind scatter aged acorns damp days and i'm i'm gonna read a couple of haikus from our book um, worker writer in the heights of the covid pandemic pandemic we were able to produce a a worker writer's series of poems and I'll just read a couple few dismal season then I am reminded seeds sprout from cracks in concrete dismal season then I'm reminded seeds sprout from cracks in concrete contrary days stress fingers pen sad notes lugged six slippery treadmill contrary days stress fingers pen sad notes logged six slippery treadmill amidst naked shells his lips stained with first milk shout te amo mami amidst naked shells his lips stained with with first milk shout te amo mami Rats, human, vie for space on urban sidewalk, cracks in tenement walls. Rats, human, vie for space on urban sidewalk, cracks in tenement walls. Thank you. Hello, my name is Shanika Anderson. I've been with the Workers' Writers Group for about three years now. And I'm going to sing a song and then read my and Kane. So many of our youth have been gunned down senselessly. Modern day lynching in the city streets the victims of violence are so often the poor they're either killed in their own neighborhoods or die in rich men's wars racist police murders are labeled as mistakes so many innocent lives they take I
no well more names than I can tell Tyree body battered tased dazed ice glaze melting slips out final plea shouting mom like Floyd the only way to end it is to stand up and fight it can't be done alone the workers must unite let's take it to the streets take it to the world stand up young and old let's do it for Chantel Davis Ayanna Jones, Sean Bell, Kiki Gray, Eric Garner, Tyree Nichols, George Floyd, Mike Brown, Kyam Livingston, Rakia Boyd, Sandra Bland. Too many names, too many names. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for all coming out. My name is Thomas Barzi, and I've been with the Workers' Right of School since 2017. I'm going to read some of my St. Queens for, for this evening. Five train, subway delays, weekend construction, check transit app, no alternative, angry people, home bound. Coronavirus, three years later, disease exists, fighting battle, don't give up, scary times, what's next, think positive. Musical pleasure, great vocals, extraordinary instruments, Happy moments in time, bringing joy, fast healer of the soul, lifts up spirit, enjoyable art. Time change, hour ahead, lose sleep, more and more daylight, shorter nights, season changes, more fun and social activities, moving forward winter less mild today freezing tomorrow not much snow in some areas more snow in other areas impacting many lives feeling blessed college b-ball male and female athletes another year Great competitive games. Many teams do or die to the finals. Good luck. Colon cleansing. No food, drinking liquids, anxiety of not eating, starving. Will be worth it in the long run. Prayers up. Thank you, everyone. I am Lorraine Garnett and welcome, welcome. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Workers' Right to School. Thank you. You know I'm old. I have paper. I'm putting my glasses. I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. Bondage. Going home after 12 hour shift. Sleep and neck. Meet train seat. Pay us. You know our worth. Children waiting to blow dandelions, waiting to blow bubbles, waiting for spring, toddlers.
sticky pill for survival seized by sperm toupee remove naked legal swallow duct tape monday how was school today son okay we did two 12-hour shooting drills. Paul had a gun Monday. Shootings. AI, please help. What must we do? Open season hunting. Humans instead killing. burning 100 years of truth artifacts spring summer fall only one season spare winter egg price abortion outlawed in 13 states prescription poison free Young girls, panties controlled. Wages, big banks, mutual fund, stock secure. Lipstick, face lip, still ugly. Small bank, stipend, banknotes. Monkey. Watermelon, sweet or acid. Nice microaggressions. Jim Crow, sleep with babies. Box braid. Black hair roots receive pink slip. Coil discrimination. Twist hanging dreadlocks. Injured. Innocent souls, innocent souls learning to count. Captured, midnight nightmare, locked in egg yolk, fragile. Drip, drip, segregated. Separate hospital, separate schools, separate church. Tick, talk, they're coming. Murder, you, probation. They got life sentences. You mastermind executions. Butcher, mother, oh, that part is not in there. Happy, cherry blossom, crave, dream vegetable garden, barbecue onion, roasted lime, Blissful, and I think I do. It's that's one. How are we doing? <laughs> How are we doing? This is just so amazing. It's just so wonderful, you know, to see your work up there, Mark. It's 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 beyond. Woman, pajama crying mothers wait to eat, shower, sleep, speak children without mothers. COVID, how much do we know? What have we learned? Do you know your neighbors? No hugs are real, family. I think I'll end at that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Get my glasses off so I can see. Let's give it up again for these remarkable, inspiring poets. And thank you all as well for coming out on this very chilly evening. Um, this event has been pretty spectacular and according to the good folks at the Department of Transportation, 
This is the first time that anyone has actually been allowed to project onto the Brooklyn Bridge. And so because of that, I actually have quite a few folks to thank, but if you hang out, there are two announcements coming at the end, so let's give up for um, these individuals. At the DOT, Nina Marin, Leo Rosowski, and everyone at the Art Inventions Program. At Brooklyn Bridge Park, Onika Selby. At the Illuminator, who, you know, did all of these projections, Emily Anderson and Chris Rogi. To Beatty Arasia Nowak, who's back there, who made the film for the projection. At DIA, first and foremost, Kim Golding, who really... Thank you, because she's the one who literally made everything happen tonight. Max Tanone and Cameron Constantine, or all the AV and IT. Independent photographer Don Stahl took some killer photos tonight, as he always does. John Sprague in operations, Claire O'Neill and Catherine Ellis in communications, Karen Rasabi, Anya Sizika, and Laura Fields in publications, as well as Michelle Alamkal in publications and learning and engagement, Michelle Morozik and Nihal Mahawaduge in the bookshop, Umberto Moro, Dia's deputy director of program, and Jessica Morgan, Dia's director for the unbelievable amount of moral support when some individuals are determined to do things that have never been done in New York City before. And of course, to my co-curator, Jose Olivares. Many, thank you. Many folks gave advice and recommendations along the way. Hannah Allerton, Aliyah Blackwell, Farkash Fulop, Leo Kolbs, Tom Lonvai, Claire Leiden, and Sarah O'Connell. To all of the unions who supported this event, especially Domestic Workers United, the New York Taxi Workers Alliance, Woo! Street Vendor Project, Woo! and many of DIA's staff who are here and working today who are also part of DIA's union. Woo! To everyone at the Worker Writers School, including Mark Nowak, yeah! whose dreams challenge us to flex in ways we didn't know possible. And of course, to all of tonight's featured artists, again, in the order in which they performed, Alondo McIntyre, yeah. Olivia Murphy, yeah. Davidson Garnett, Gar sorry, Garrett, Davidson Garrett, yeah. Keely Inkirani, yeah. Nelson Chamilio, yeah. Seth Goldman, yeah. Christina Vett Lewis, Oh wait, I'm so sorry, I think I got it out of order. Um, Shanika Anderson. Yeah! Tom Barzi, whose birthday it is today. Yeah! And Lorraine Garnett. Yeah! So if you love this work the way that I love this work, please come back, not here, but in Washington Square Park on Saturday, May 13th, 1 p.m. The Worker Writer School will be reading as a part of the Penn World Voices Festival. Um, as Christine pointed out, their most recent book, Coronavirus Haiku, is available for sale in Dia's bookshop. We decided to stay within the rules. We're not allowed to vend here, but go to diaart.org and you can buy their book. Sorry, say the name again, what is that? Coronavirus Haiku! Okay. Yes. Can everyone hear me now? Um, and then lastly, this is our closing event for the 2022-2023 season of Poetry Anne. Again, go back to our website, diaart.org slash poetry in the summer when we will announce the 2023-24 season. Thank you again for coming out and have a lovely evening. Yeah.